Hey everybody, hey guys, I'm happy to see everyone and today let's talk about <laughs> the secrets or habits why uh, Eastern European people, Russian, Ukrainian and all other Eastern European countries seem to have um, less obesity issues actually compared to United States rate probably doing really really well uh, we usually do not have nearly as much kids suffering uh, from obesity, young adults and people in general and um, I think that's such a big issue uh, here in US it's becoming so big and what's interesting people are trying to cover for that people are trying to say oh don't hurt my body image or um, being politically correct when really that issue is threatening people's health and everybody is different you know some people meant to be a little bit bigger some people meant to be a little bit smaller <laughs> so uh, but what I want to talk today about is um, how much really depends on our habits that basically you know we all are the results of our habits because what I've noticed um, in the United States it's usually two um, categories the first category people that never work out eat junk food having a very unhealthy lifestyle and kind of you know staying there and the other part of people People who go to the gym, work out, have a program, uh, eating healthy, eating fitness, you know, fitness uh, friendly things. And they can be in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and look absolutely amazing. Like absolutely, you can see that all their life they've been play, um, following a plan and uh, definitely it's working out they definitely ahead of everybody sometimes ahead of young people but in russia and ukraine and um, eastern european countries it's really interesting because i think the majority of our people aren't really you know the gym workout people uh, but uh okay meanwhile i'm talking i see two guys running with a baby so no excuse running with a baby in a stroller i hope you can see them <laughs> i hope you can see them guys um oh okay they're right right there <laughs> i don't know so I hope you can see them guys, there were like two guys, probably one of them is a dad and there is a baby in a stroller and they went out for a run, so there are no excuses. But what I was saying that in our country a lot of people do not belong to the gym, they aren't even like fitness, they're not exactly into fitness, but every day um, they active, you know, they walk, they move a lot, you know, whether it's uh, whether it's um, just taking walks or going grocery shopping without the car or going to work, you know, using the public transportation. So basically people move a lot during the day and I think that is what's saving us from uh, having uh, obesity issues and stuff like that. And also about the food, our people are more into... Um, making their own food not so much into junk food also it's now becoming a fashion unfortunately but uh, most of people especially who have families they usually make simple things but they cook food consistently so <laughs> it's also like little things you know it's not a fitness program it's not exactly a diet program but <laughs> um we do not have that kind of scary thing when it's becoming very hard to get back and you know having um so much weight that even you know getting out and walk is a problem i'm not talking today about the beauty standards about you know um 
abusing people who have extra weight that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about the health issue and um that it's kind of scary to me how in us um how much it's affecting people and i had never seen anything like that you know I had never seen anything like that. I had never seen kids having uh, that problem and having young adults and people of all sorts and kinds not being able to walk because of their weight. I had never seen that and it's very sad, you know, there is nothing funny about it. So basically <laughs> what I want to say that, you know, um, probably it's a lifestyle to get out more you know go to the parks when we meet with friends we often go to the beautiful parks like like this one i hope you can see it and um having more more movements nowadays of course we have people who um who are into fitness and we have people who are into um who not into anything as well but those are more ex exceptions because you want to be able to move you want to be able to play with your kids you want to be able to fit into your clothes so and i know some people not gonna like this video again because uh, for many reasons because they're not taking care of themselves but uh, if you don't like it you don't have to watch it especially of what I'm about to say. Uh, I think that parents who let their young kids uh, of any ages till 18 uh, get obese, I think they should be charged with uh, child abuse. Because while you are a parent, you are responsible for their nutrition, for their activities, for their health. And if you aren't, you setting them short you know you give them a bad start it's not just about you know the weight itself it's about that they can they cannot perform as well in school uh, they um, do not have as much energy they just um, it's just a bad start and they have whole life ahead of them I'm not even talking about you know the bullying and that it's you know some people maybe are meant to be a little bit bigger that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about make sure you you know you go to the store and you get you know good food that you can cook you know and take them out for activities and set them for a good you know give them a good start for life it's it's bugging me so much i'm happy that i'm making videos so i can get this out and it bothers me not in a way that, you know, um, it's my business or in a way that I'm judging them. I'm just thinking, why would you give your child less uh, when you can give them more? And actually you can save a lot of money of going junk food places and having stupid entertainment and computer games. Um, you can, if you spend with them more effort, a little bit more time, you can save a lot of money doing healthy things. So that's my opinion and I think maybe like 20 years from now or 50 years from now I think uh, like cigarettes have um, you know like cigarettes have a, uh, written on them warning that will kill you over time. I think that fast food places after some time going to have warning on the back of their food and saying be careful because it's gonna kill you because it is you know again we also have people who are you know not exactly fitness people but they're in a good shape you know they're active they're getting out they're doing stuff so that is my point that um it's it's really really important to to kind of stay in shape and I think um, it's important to accept you for who you are, to be fine if you have some extra weight. I'm not saying that, oh, you know, hate yourself now. No, but just add some movement to your life, you know, change the quality of your life. You know, like in Eastern Europe, as I said, we just active more. We, you know, even if you have the vehicle, you walk to the store, 
you know, even if you have the vehicle, you meet with your friends at the park and while you talk, you're walking. Um, kind of building your life about, you know, with having some, you know, with being able to move through the day, you know, taking the, the ste steps instead of the elevator, things like that. So, but basically, <laughs> I went away from my topic. I was saying about how do Russian people stay in shape. I think it just comes naturally to many people to be active. To be active and um, just... You see, we used to not have junk food. The junk food came to us after the... Um, let's see... In like early 90s. Before that, we didn't really have much of junk food because it was a closed market and basically we had just our food, stuff that we grow and so forth. I mean, we would have cookies and sweets, but basically people still were cooking dinners and lunches and a lot of people still do, you know. I was standing in the line in the grocery store and um, the lady in front of me, she had all those vegetables and all the things she was buying, they were um, like, you know, fruits, vegetables, some meat, some things to cook from. And I just joked, I said, oh, somebody's liking, somebody's making healthy choices, someone is still cooking. And she responded to me that, yes, I love to cook. And by her accent, I'm like, oh my God, she's either from Russia or Ukraine. <laughs> and she was. So I think it's a cultural thing, you know, we cook a lot of soups, a lot of stews, a lot of uh, things with meat and it's interesting because a lot of our dishes have a lot of calories, but you know, I think they are more, <laughs> they are better calories, they, that they have more energy in them rather than having thousand donuts, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think it's a different, they have different impact on your body when you get thousand calories from you know good protein and vegetables then you had a bunch of sweets so and it's funny you know what's the most amazing that um in our country we have this oh my gosh the bee um <laughs> in our country we have this thing about coming for tea and usually we bring a cake and having tea or bring something sweet and having tea and still, it doesn't have much effect because the rest of the time, uh, people eating and making healthy choices. I feel like a preacher. <laughs> but I got so many questions about it, you know, why uh, it seems like all the Russian girls are so skinny. And I have to tell you, not all the Russian girls are very skinny. Younger girls often are, but not all the girls. We have girls that are more curvy, you know, a little bit bigger but they are all in a great shape you know um yes they are taking care of themselves they have different body types but still they they are just keep moving honestly i have never i live in a smaller town um and i have never seen people doing those things to themselves you know prefer to lay down and just um, relax rather than you know having chips watch TV rather than you know go out and have a nature walk so I think those habits over the years keeps our you know obesity rate down and uh, it really it really makes me want to cry when I see kids um, and young adults and older adults being uh, suffering from this um, easy fast uh, and not having enough of you know action enough don't not moving enough I think it's just it affects your brain it affects your mental health and yes you know we have a lot of models you know we have a lot of actresses that are like perfect you know glamour uh, magazines perfect and that's great uh, i'm not even talking about that though what i'm talking about is that um you have to keep active in any shape size or form it's not about fitting into standards it's about being able to function to go and enjoy life and have a quality different quality of life so I said it guys 
<laughs> I just I received so many letters about how is it you know Russian girls and Russian women even older women you know they stay in shape even if they if they don't work out so maybe some people do not work out again in the ways of uh, you know fitness training and gym but a lot of people just having a lifestyle that keeps them away from being obese or really overweight so that's all guys um, I hope those people that ask me can get a good answer from that and uh, thank you so much for watching it's been kind of a long video but uh, I just thought I will answer that there is no really um, crazy secret just simple things to incorporate things that are pleasurable yet healthy in your life on a daily basis and you will never suffer from those major weight problems and have energy so that's all guys thank you so much i hope i didn't bore you <laughs> but i had to say it. thank you